How's everyone doing tonight? Can I get some energy? I know that we're mixed in with some beautiful, moving poetry, but this is the stand-up part where you're supposed to laugh. Just so you know, I, I want to hear some laughter out there. Um, so my name's Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. And since it already sounds like an AA meeting, I've been sober for less than three hours. <laughs> You think I'm kidding? <laughs> Any good comic knows you gotta be inebriated in some way if you wanna put on an entertaining show. <laughs> you know, this is only my second time ever doing stand up. It's in a pretty big room with a lot of people. So, in case you're wondering, this is my second change of clothes because I already shat through my first pair. <laughs> um, believe it or not, I am a freshman here at the University of Nevada, Reno. Let's hear some noise for you and R! <laughs> You guys are a lot more excited than the majority of parents who heard the exact same information. <laughs> you know, the only way that your parents are excited to hear that you're going to UNR is A, they weren't sober when you told them, or B, you already live in Nevada, so you're already trapped in the hellhole. And yeah, if B is true, A is true, definitely for sure as well. <laughs> um, like, Nevada's great in the sense of, like, cheap tuition and, like, cheap tuition. <laughs> but, but you know, at the same time, there's like bestiality and prostitution. And most people read bestiality is legal in Nevada and think, hmm, but maybe you grew up looking at Chicken Little with completely different life. <laughs> like, I ain't trying to judge you, you know. You know, like I said, I'm a freshman though, and um, naturally as a freshman I'm confused about some things. The first one being is how to get literally anywhere in this campus. Um, I know two buildings and two buildings only. The first being Scrotum Engineering. Uh, and the second one being Shoe Lick My Booty Lecture Hall. Uh, so as you can see, I don't really know much about the donors of UNR, but they got some weird freaking names. Um, the second thing I'm confused about is how the hell the president of ASUN is like fucking 14. Like, okay, Anthony Martinez may be ahead of us in like intelligence and skill and talent, but like, y'all gotta admit the homie's still gonna be ID at age 47. Like, here, 2050's gonna roll around and people are gonna be like, what the fuck is an 11 year old doing on the $3 bill? <laughs> You know, I remember the first time I saw Anthony Martinez not in a suit and tie and he was in some gym clothes. And I saw the dude is jacked, you guys. <laughs> like, it was, an, it was an interesting experience. It's kind of seeing like the face of Caillou, but on the body of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> you know, also since attending UNR, I've learned some pretty important life lessons. Um, the first one being that the only time consent doesn't matter is when you're sh shoving a voter registration pamphlet in someone's hand. Um, and and the, second, the second lesson I learned is you really can't tell the difference between, you know, students, faculty members, you know, lost grandparents in the KC thinking you're in the automo <laughs> automobile museum. <laughs> like, I think that is so amazing that thousands of people are not letting age, you know, constrain them from pursuing their education. That is incredible. But at the same time, it's so embarrassing when I'm putting a voter registration pamphlet in the hands of someone who marched with Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> and lastly, the, a really important lesson that I learned in college is um, stand-up comedy is really fucking hard. <laughs> so hopefully you guys like my set at least a little bit. Thank you guys. Woo!